what is up everybody? So about a year ago, I took a trip down to Columbia to make a promotional video and take some photos for a nonprofit coffee company started by my good friend, Sarah Klein. While I was down there, I got a bunch of random footage. The content isn't quite right for a proper travel vlog, but there's too much of it to just let sit in my hard drive forever. So I decided this week that I was gonna create something out of it, a sort of keepsake of this incredible trip that I had. This is my Columbia story. What is up? It's like 9 a.m. Friday, November 3rd. Today I'm headed to Columbia. I'm gonna be in Columbia for like six days. I gotta drive to Portland, catch my flight. I forgot my keys. I always forget my keys. I'm gonna be in airports and on airplanes for the next 24 hours. I actually really like airplanes, so I'm pretty stoked. Twenty-six hours later, made it to Pereira. Pereira. I'm tired. got to the apartment we're gonna be staying at. Check out the view. First full day in Colombia here. It's Sunday, so there's not a lot of people on the streets. No, we just got offered goat's milk from a guy walking his goats. We did not partake. <laughs> oh, jeez. This spider is like the size of my hand. It's gigante, no? He said it was small. Hola, gato. Hey, como estas? It's a banana tree. Look at all those bananas. Awesome. Fresh platanos. Eso sí, aquí se come mucho plátano. Plátano todo el día. So this morning I woke up and I thought I slept in super late because the sun was really high in the sky. I asked what time it was and they said it was 7 a.m. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. But it turns out since we're by the equator, the sun rises way earlier and the days are longer. Crazy. Oh, sorry. Jess was given some coffee by the locals. I'm not much of a coffee guy, but man, this stuff is good. Tea. Please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> es delicioso. Sí. ¿Qué es eso? Maraculina. Maraculina. It's a seed? So the part in your tongue that tastes the sour parts, that, that seed shuts it down. Oh wow, so, so you just taste the sweet the lemon sweet. part. Me gusta. ¿Qué tanto? Está bien. This is, part of the, is, this the, is this for the vlog? So we just did a midnight refrigerator drop off. Life in Colombia. <laughs> That's vicious. Yeah. <laughs> So, what exactly are we we're, we're videoing? We're up here on the farm. It's beautiful. What are we doing today? We're filming. And hopefully we're gonna eat some cake later. Yeah. Oh, are you actually filming? Yeah. Oh. This is legit. Super legit? This is the movie. So there's gonna be a little clip of me saying super legit in your film? Yeah, well, this whole conversation is gonna be in it. <laughs> That's super meta. Okay, now it's in focus, I think. Okay, piensas. That you film too much. Uh, it's my thing. That's like saying a whale swims too much.
tierra hermosa Perfecto. I find that whenever I return from a really incredible trip, it's always with a bit of a heavy heart. As I sit in the airport and board the plane, I think about all the incredible people that I met, all the incredible new things that I tried, all the new discoveries that I made. On my way back to the routine of everyday life, I think about how valuable trips like these are. When you take yourself out of the comfort zone of what you know, your development as a person increases exponentially. After just six days of visiting this amazing country, I feel like a completely different person. And I always return feeling sad that I may never go back. But after this trip, I started to think a little bit differently. I realized that doing things like this visiting and working with amazing people in a country halfway around the world. This is what really makes me happy. And rather than lament on being back in the mundanity of everyday life, uh -huh. yeah. I'm gonna do everything yeah, I can absolutely. to make a trip like this happen again. They're booked. We're doing it, baby. Absolutely. I'm stoked. I'm stoked, man. I'll see you next Wednesday.